Hello fellow Lita's, I'm Ellie Vira. I am a plus size and swole Lolita, and it is very hard for me to find things that will fit my plus size and swole Lita body for cheap. One of the most common pieces of advice that I hear given to beginners on the regular is go on Taobao to find something cheap. But this advice does not apply equally to all body types. The more plus size you are, the harder it is to find things on Taobao that will work for your plus size body. And when you're six feet tall and muscular, and broad shouldered and big bicep, like it's a total crapshoot, let's be honest. <laughs> and that is why I review plus size friendly things on this YouTube channel. I have made it my mission to tell the entire world what is plus size and swolita friendly and what is not. And today I have a slight haul from Taobao that I would like to share with all of you. I've had this giant box sitting around my house and I figured it had been there long enough. It was time to open it up. My waist was 99 centimeters. Hello, this is editing Ellie from the future. Future. Turns out my new workout regimen and training schedule have changed my body in ways I did not expect and am trying to adjust to. So all of the measurements that I say throughout this video are actually not correct. I have double checked my measurements and the chart you are seeing on screen now is correct. So please disregard the stuff that I am saying about my measurements and instead reference these measurements against your own measurements. This just goes to show that we should take our own measurements regularly and double check them often. Don't be like me, don't make my mistake. Now based on that information and the footage you are about to see, you should be able to get a pretty good sense of whether or not some of these items will fit you depending on if you are larger or smaller in those areas. And my goal is to help you find budget pieces that you can use to build your wardrobe or if you are very, very new to Lolita and have yet to buy anything, hopefully this will put you on a path to feeling more confident in making your first purchase on Taobao for cheap. But also the things that don't work well for me doesn't mean it won't work well for you. So please check my lace market in the description as I am going to be selling all of the things that are not love for me. Now I'd like to rate these on some sort of scale. If one is this is garbage, don't buy it. And five is this is amazing and plus size and Swolita friendly. I guess I could use like stars or hearts or cupcakes or something Lolita like that. But I am the Swolita of YouTube so I will use biceps. I will rate things on a scale of one bicep to five biceps, and if it's really, really awesome, I'll give it a double bicep. Uh. <laughs> so without further ado, let the fashion show begin. Uh. I'd like to start off by talking about what I consider the most successful part of this haul for me personally, which are these long bloomers by Sakura Deerfield. I've also heard this brand called Sakurata Fawn. I believe both are just different translations of the same Chinese characters, but I'm going to call it Sakura Deerfield because that's what I've called it in previous videos. These are long bloomers that are meant to be seen peeking out of the bottom of your skirt. This is a common style for old school coordinates and I've never had a pair of bloomers that was long enough to actually peek out of any of my skirts. So the fact that these bloomers go down to my knees when I am as tall as I am at six feet tall is really remarkable and super, super great for me. Now I bought these as a set. This means that I got the black and the white, both long style. The heart patches are listed as pockets per the translation that I saw. They are not actually pockets. You can't put anything in them, but they are adorable. The cotton fabric that's used used on these bloomers is super comfortable. I could see wearing these as part of an OG cord, at least for the black colorway that I got, but I'm showing you mostly the white colorway here because it's easier to make out the details on camera. I would say that the white is a little too sheer to wear without a skirt over it, and wearing bloomers as pants in Lolita fashion is frowned upon by many purists, so please be cautious if this is something you are going to try. You will get some flack for it and you need to have a thick skin. But I will not shame you for it. I think it is cute. There is a time and place for what I call pajama Lolita. But yeah, I'd totally love to pair these black bloomers with the black violet fane cut sew that I reviewed recently too. So I think that would look really, really awesome. There's a little bit more stretch in these, but I would not recommend it for anyone whose hips are over 120 centimeters because while it will stretch to about that width, it will be very hard to get them over your hips. And my hips are just under that amount right now. So while it wasn't a struggle for me, it would possibly be a struggle for people larger than me. I'm giving these long bloomers by Sakura Deerfield five out of five biceps. Bam! 
The next thing I want to talk about is this spring slash autumn cotton blouse, also by Sakura Deerfield. I got this in the white and the beige, but I am only trying on the white because as you can see, this does not really fit me very well. The blouse is cotton and it is super comfortable. It's made out of the same fabric as the pumpkin pants that I just tried on as far as I can tell, but the sleeves are so short on me. It doesn't look bad. It does hit me right above the elbow where the elastic is, but this is not what this blouse is supposed to look like when you look at the stock photos. And so it just wasn't quite what I was looking for. That said, it's supposed to fit up to a 130 centimeter bust. And I think it can accommodate at least 125 centimeters very comfortably. The one place you'll need to watch out is the neck where there is a button close I would say that my neck measurement is about the maximum that would be comfortable, but because this button closure is so subtle and in the back, it's a loop over a button, you could in theory replace the loop with something longer and be able to wear this blouse no problem. It's also worth noting that the bow on the front is detachable with this pin. Because I got a little bit of makeup on this blouse as I was taking it off, I had to machine wash it and it washed like a dream. So while this was not a great blouse for me, it is still a great quality blouse for the price and I give it three biceps. Next, let's talk about another blouse. This is called the Miss Lolita Princess Bell Sleeve Lace Blouse. I got it in the 4XL and 5XL sizes, also from Sakura Deerfield. While I thought I could make the 4XL work, I suspected the biceps might be a problem and I got the 5XL just in case. However, the 4XL and 5XL both fit my biceps. The issue is that there was not a lot of room for me in the shoulders. So I would recommend this blouse for somebody with a narrower shoulder than 42 centimeters. Unfortunately, once again, the cut on this blouse was just not right for my long arms. I am a big person. I think this would be a great blouse for a smaller framed person and the size flexibility and style are so great. I definitely love the way that this lace looks and for the price, this is a great dress up option. For somebody who wants a more OTT blouse without spending a whole ton of money, I do think this is a great option. So I'm going to give this blouse three biceps. I also have two different dress sets from NSG Lolita that I got in plus sizes. The first is the Honey Girl Summer Plaid Dress Set, which I have in both beige and gray here. I got both colorways not thinking I would keep them both because I wasn't sure if the beige would look good on me, even though it was my preference. I've always wanted to do a Sherlock Holmes inspired cord. I think either colorway would be fabulous for a Sherlock Holmes inspired cord though, and I will definitely definitely be keeping the beige because wow, this is so comfortable. It says the measurements go up to 130 centimeter bust, but I would say that is fairly conservative. This dress barely has to stretch to fit on me and is so loose. In fact, at my measurements, it almost feels like it's too big on me. However, with a bulkier blouse and the full petticoat supporting the heavy fabric, I do think it looks great on me. And for those days when I'm bulking up or retaining a lot of water, or if I want to put a friend who is larger than me in Lolita. I think this is a fabulous option to have on hand. And so I will absolutely be keeping it. This dress is so cute. It has all these little details such as bows, different types of lace all over the place. The fabric has these little gems inlaid in it and it came with a matching head bow. So it is super easy to coordinate. Bonus points, it goes really, really well with the beige version of of the cotton blouse that I tried on earlier, though here I am wearing it with the white version. So if you're looking for a very quick, easy first coordinate, you might consider getting this combination. It is super cute. It looks fabulous together. And yeah, give it a go if you're interested in trying classic Lolita. I give it four biceps. Last but not least by far is the Resplendent Night Sky Short Sleeve OP Set, also by NSG Lolita. And I got this in both red and purple. I have a very, very similar OP set that I got in green and black. I could not resist getting the short sleeve version too. I am just so in love with this purple version, the lace up details, the poof sleeve, the slight shimmeriness of the fabric, and the 
cameo brooch all give it a very fairy tale vibe. And in fact, I would love to wear this to Disneyland as some sort of Rapunzel Disney bounding in Lolita. Cosplay Lolita is a little bit frowned upon in the community, but Disney bounding seems like the one exception. And I've always wanted to go to Disneyland in Lolita. If I was gonna go running around and sweating, or if I went on a ride that has a water feature like Splash Mountain and got it wet, I did not want to risk it. So this is a great budget option for that specific use case, but it's also just super comfortable. It's got a whole bunch of shirring on the back for size flexibility. And while no waist is listed on the official measurements, I can tell you from my experience that there is still room in the waist for me to gain a little weight and I will be just fine. However, I should point out that this little dangling bit came off of the brooch on the purple version when I first got it, which is a bit disappointing, but to be honest, I didn't notice that it was there and I don't particularly care for it in terms of styling. It's no great loss to me. Just be careful if you do get this dress that that's in good condition. But when I tried it on in red, this was not an issue. It only happened on the purple version. However, the red one gave me serious Mrs. Claus Santa vibes and I am Jewish, so that was not gonna work for me and I will be putting the red one up for sale, but I'm planning on buying this instead in blue or maybe the green or black because this OP is so cute, it's so comfortable, and there's plenty of room for my biceps and shoulders in here. And once again, it comes with a matching head bow. So if you wanted to, you could just put your hair up and you would slap that thing on top and you'd be ready to go. Now I would give this five out of five biceps, but because of the construction issue, I can only give it four out of five biceps. And that about wraps up this particular Taobao haul. I've got affiliate links to all of the things I reviewed in the description below, as well as a link to my lace market so that you can buy the things that did not work for me, but may work for you. And you'll have the instant gratification of having it shipped immediately to you directly from me instead of waiting for the Spree Now system to send it to you. And of course, you can always order this from some other Taobao reseller or shopping service. I do not take offense if you do not want to use my affiliate links. I just happen to use Spree Now for all of my Taobao purchases because I find their customer service and format to be really great. I like being able to group things by shipment and it gives me a lot more control over when things come to me and how much I have to pay for shipping. So that's my preference. I do think it's very beginner friendly. So I'm hoping that that will be of use to all of you if this is your first foray into Lolita, but there is no shame in going elsewhere. I totally understand, no pressure. I've never done a video in this format at all. I hope that it worked out okay. And I would seriously welcome your feedback because if I could do a simple faves versus fails format for when I need to get through a bunch of stuff in my review queue and that was helpful enough in this format, it would be so much easier for me to film this way. So I think I'd be able to make more videos Maybe? I don't know. Just a thought. And if you hate it, I mean, please be gentle, but let me know because I do really care about your experience as the viewer of this channel. But if you found this at all interesting or helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Tell me in the comment section what you want to have added to your wardrobe. Or if you have any other questions for me about these things, don't forget to check the comment section and give a thumbs up to whatever reviews you want me to do next. Anyway, I'm running out of time before I gotta go meet up with my in-laws, so I'ma sign off right now. I'm Elivira, a plus-size Swolita, and I really appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. Thank you for being so awesome. I hope your next fave was in this video too, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!